Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The Sephora VIB sale is coming up real quick from August 24th, I believe, until September 3rd. VIB Rouge gets 20 off, um, VIBs get 15, and Insiders get 10. This video I want to kind of put together to show you what I'll be picking up, as well as what some of my recommendations are. Stick around. To start off, I'm a powder face powder hoarder. So I love face powder. So let me just show you some of my absolute favorites that I think maybe you guys should give a shot to. The first one is the um, Too Faced Peach Perfect Palette. This one comes with, I believe, what is it, 1.23 ounces of product. That's quite a bit of product um, in correlation with some, of the other, uh, with some of the other powders currently available. Not to mention it smells like peaches and it has a really nice cap that I wish the other um, powders had as well. Where you can just kind of pop this open the product is right there and then you seal it it's safe to travel with and all that fun stuff so this one i highly recommend it is really nice powder then um we have the becca hydra mist powder this one is very interesting i'm sure you guys have heard um you put it on your face it feels like you're putting on a wet powder almost so if you kind of dunk in your brush into the powder and you apply it onto your face it feels like your brush is wet it is a really weird experience but it is a really nice powder and it does exactly what it's supposed to it sets your face seamlessly because it is so high content of water the next powder that um, I'm sure is probably on a lot of people's bucket list is the hourglass veil this one is really neat because the way they kind of from my understanding formulated the packaging for this the little H inside um, when you shake the product, it releases the perfect amount of product to set your entire face. And it really does. At least for my face, it sets my whole face without a problem. That's number three. Um, let me jump into some Huda products that are amazing. And I highly recommend you guys potentially give it a shot to or try it out. Because I promise it will not disappoint. And if it does, don't worry. You can always return it back. Um, next, I have uh, one, two, three, four four Huda Beauty products that I've been enjoying quite a bit for the past month or so. So um, the first one is the, of course, the Huda Beauty Pound Cake um, Face Setting Powder. This one is really awesome, smells amazing, does exactly what it's supposed to. You could bake with it. I use it to usually kind of set my entire face and it works really, really well throughout the day. It doesn't crease or break apart my foundation. So this one is really awesome. Next is the Huda Beauty Foundation. This is what I'm wearing now in addition to the powder. This one stays on my face all day. If I know I'm going to be having a really long day throughout from 8 a.m. to let's say 10 p.m., this is what I will wear and it will not break apart. It will not crease. It will not disappear. This foundation I really enjoy and not to mention it has a pump. Yeah, a pump. And this color is Custard 22N. I'm sorry, 220N. Next, what I'm wearing on my lips is the new Huda Beauty Demi Matte um, Lip Creams. I, these are colors SheEO and Feminist. I'm wearing SheEO right now. These are amazing. I did, I think, a review about three weeks ago or so, and I still have been using them. I have not been able to put them down. So these are really awesome, and I highly recommend you guys give them a shot. These are $20 a pop, so with the 20% off, it's $16. So I think that's a pretty good deal for these ones, considering how much product you get, as well as how amazing they really are in formula. Next, I have a couple Stila products, um, the Glitter and Glows. I have color Cloud and Wanderlust. Cloud is a little bit more on the iridescent purple side. And then Wanderlust has several specks of like greens and purples and blues within it. So it is gorgeous to kind of dab onto your eye and then um, just be out the door. And here's a couple swatches of them. This one is Cloud and this one is Wanderlust. Not to mention when these dry down and set, you're pretty much set. It's not going to budge or move. A concealer that I highly recommend is the Too Faced Born This Way. I've been using this in place of my Tarte Shape Tape, which I was pretty loyal to. I think I went through like four tubes of that thing. But this one is a little bit less um, drying, so when I apply it, it doesn't really have the cracking or creasing that I would ever so often experience with Shape Tape. So this one is a really awesome concealer. Um, a couple kind of weirder products, or just one weirder product. This is the 3 Day Teeth Whitening Treatment by Glow. Um, I believe this was $24. There's, I couldn't find this online, but they have another set 
that has six pieces for $50. So you would save quite a bit of money with the 20% off, but these are pretty awesome. So you pretty much apply it onto your teeth, you wait two, three minutes, and then you spit it out. And it really does whiten. I've used this for quite a while now, and one little thing will last you maybe two, three, four uses. My absolute favorite contour product, um, when it comes to nose contour, or if I really want to chisel shit out, I will always grab the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in light. They have three shades, medium and deep as well. For me specifically, I like the light one because I want the faintest trace of contour on my nose. So this one is pretty awesome. It is a really nice compact product, but you get quite a bit, so 0.14 ounces. If you're not kind of heavy handed with this or if you're using it sparingly or doing just nose contouring with it, this is going to last you for quite a bit. And it is $44, so 20% off of that is going to save you a lot of coin. Next, I have a relatively higher end item. It's $110. But I think it's worth it, or you can give it a shot. With 20% off, you'd be saving, what, 20, 25 bucks off of it? So it, it's not like it's going to be affordable, but it is kind of worth giving it a shot, too, if you're interested in Tom Ford. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Contouring Compact. It comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight shade. All three are relatively kind of light to medium skin tone. If you have medium skin tone, you might need to build up bronzer just a tiny bit, but all three are kind of very sophisticated and elegant types of uh, bronzing, contouring, and highlighting powder because they're very kind of sheer, but they do what they are supposed to. This one I've had for quite a while, um, and I really do enjoy using it, and it does come with quite a bit of product. It's 0.70 ounces of product. I have three Marc Jacobs products. Um, that I want to kind of touch on. The first one is the Marc Jacobs Finish Line Loose Powder. This one I believe came out a few months ago and it is really awesome. This one I feel like is a loose version of what they currently have, which they've had for a while, is the 100 Finish Line. It is a uh, pressed setting powder. This one comes with 0.45 ounces of product and it's super sheer. So let me give you guys a little swatch of this one so you can see how sheer it is. So when you apply this with a damp sponge, it literally melts into your skin and disappears. So there's like no trace of white residue or the, none that I have seen. In addition to photos, I don't really ever get a flashback with this. So this is a kind of loose version of this is what I feel like. But this one does have a little bit more tint to it than this one does. And then next is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Tantastic Bronzer. This one has 0 0.8 ounces of product, which is a lot. It's going to probably last you a lifetime and a half. This one has a really nice neutral um, tone, so when you apply it, it doesn't clash with your eyes or it doesn't lean one way or another. It's just a really nice neutral bronzer. Next is the Kopari Lip Love. I believe they've renamed this. I haven't seen this one uh, on Sephora.com, but now it's called Lip Glossy or Glossy Lip something within those ranges. It's $12, where it used to be $10 before. Um, this one is a really awesome lip balm. It has a nice sheen to it, so when you're wearing it, it almost looks like clear gloss, but it actually does protect your lips and kind of heal if you have cracked lips. Next, my absolute favorite favorite of all of these products, and probably of what I'm going to be picking up, is the Smashbox Cali Contour. This one, I think is $42 or $44 something, or $39 something within there, but it comes with a bronzer, a contour, two highlights, a setting powder, as well as a blush, and these are amazing. They're so nice to travel with because you have pretty much everything all in one nice little compact um, container as well as the mirror is a really nice size and it is a really nice mirror so you could really use it to do your entire face. And then lastly, I have a couple eyeshadow palettes um, that I'm currently very obsessed with and I use on the daily. The first one is the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Here are some of the shades within that. This is an awesome everyday palette for maybe somebody who's on the run or somebody who just needs to get some eyeshadow on and get out the door. This is a really nice palette for that. And then the last palette that I have to share with you guys is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This one has very quickly become one of my favorites. I was kind of hesitant to pick it up initially, but once I did, I was like, what was I thinking? I was crazy for not picking it up. Um, this one has 21 shades, mattes and shimmers. It has an amazing mirror. It's very heavy duty packaging, so you could probably throw this around and it's not going to break. Don't do it. Um, but 21 shades, 
lots of really awesome pops of kind of neutral color, not so much like jewel tones, but it has pretty much everything you would need, maybe except a matte uh, brow bone shade, but it is a really nice palette and it does come with quite a bit of product and um, it is very easy to travel with as well. Now let's jump into my wish list and see what I'm going to be picking up. First is the um, Milk Makeup Blur and Set uh, Matte Loose Powder. This one has about 0.87 ounces of product. It comes in three translucent different shades, a light, medium, and a dark. This one looks really appealing. I'm very, very excited to give this a shot to see how it compares to my extreme hoarding collection of powders. Next is the um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Set. It comes with a full size of the moisturizer um, and then I, I believe like a half size of the night moisturizer cream. So I'm very excited to give that a try to see how that actually works for my skin. I've heard great things from other people, but I'm kind of curious to see how it'll react on my skin. The next thing I'll be picking up is, is the Hermes Twilly Perfume in large size, which is about $130. It's $130, bucks, but I think it's kind of worth it. I have smelled it several times in store, and it smells like a very light um, amaretto kind of scent or a light almond scent. I've really been enjoying it. I thought it was a little weird in the beginning, but it really grew on me when I did spray it on. Next is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation um, that just released. I'm kind of excited to try this, but I'm kind of nervous. I've heard really good things about it, but when I'm thinking body and face, I'm thinking it's super sheer, kind of like the MAC foundation that's for body and face, but I'm kind of excited to give it a shot just to see if it's actually worth the hype. Um, then I have the All That Shimmers and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. It has three of three minis of the Stila eyeshadow sets and the shades I don't currently own. So I'm very excited to give that a shot to see um, how those compare to some of the other shades I have. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I'm really, really excited to give this a shot. I saw it in store the other day and it looks amazing. So I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to be adding another eyeshadow palette to my collection. Then um, I have the new Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder Glow. Um, I swatched it in store. It, it reminds me very much so of, I believe it was the um, Le Chanel or La Mer powder that had a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, I really like that, but of course they discontinued it. So I'm kind of curious to give this a shot and see how it's um, sets everything in place and if I get too greasy or not just because I do have normal kind of combo skin so I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work for me. I'm kind of on the fence about this next product but we'll see how that goes. Um, it is the NARS Atomic Blonde Eye and Face Palette. This one has four eyeshadow or four shimmery eyeshadow shades, a highlight as well as a bronzer. The bronzer surprisingly is Laguna, thank god. Um, it is a different shade of bronzer and it looks really nice. I'm more interested in picking this up for travel reasons, just so I can make it a little bit lighter on myself, so I don't have to take everything I usually take, which I probably will still end up taking. But this one seems like a really nice product to kind of have with you on the go. And I think, for now, that is it. But I'm certain I'll be adding a couple more things last minute as I see things pop up on YouTube as well as um, on Instagram. But that is my wish list, and those are my recommendations. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I'll catch you next time.